Yo, Awagwan is your boy, J.O. Legendary. Alright, we on the death night, man. Frosty boy. Alright, some of y'all might recognize this death night, some of y'all might not. This is the first death night I ever freaking made, and he's one of the first PvP videos I ever uploaded to this channel. <laughs> At level 72. Uh, back in like. Cataclysm, I think it was. So, we back up on the man. I did not level him for a long time. Uh, during. Uh, he was. He was amazing. He was an amazing character. And I really wish I could have recorded more of him, but at the time I had a freaking trial version of Fraps, which meant you can only record for 30 seconds. So I did mostly machinimas back then because there was no way in the world I could record a battle recording it 30 seconds at a time. So I really wish I could have got more PvP of this guy because when by the time Cataclysm, he was an absolute monster. Blood Death Knight could not be killed. It took at least... I mean, of course he could be killed, but it took at least like 10 people to kill this man. And whenever I would get in contact with other Blood Death Knights, we wouldn't even fight because there would be no point. <laughs> Because if you remember, Blood was disgustingly overpowered uh, back in uh, Cataclysm. It took like 10 people to kill one man. Why, why is everybody else moving so dang slow? Ouch, moving so dang slow. man talking about come on galf you don't kill that man no more it's all about getting to the flags capping his bases you know what I'm saying Tank. This is not good, man. This is not good. I'm a little rusty with the Frosty Boy out here because uh, it has been quite some time since I played uh, the Frost Death Knight. I just got the mains leveled up, so. He sat dormant from MOP all the way up to BFA. BFA is when I finally started playing again, him again, which I'm sure some of y'all know because I've recorded a few PvP videos. Uh, I didn't play him through MOP, Warlords of Draenor, and Legion, because, uh, although Blood was pretty good in Legion, he was just so far behind, I didn't feel like leveling him, and then that's when I made, uh, what's her name? My, my Blood Death Knight, I'd be tanking, uh, world bosses with, or killing, uh, soloing world bosses with, I forgot her name, but y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Actually, no, y'all don't, because I never made a video with her yet. <laughs> um... So he sat dormant for a very long time, but he's here. I still never did the test to see if I could have two Jatums in one party. I should do it after this. <laughs> two Jatums in one party, man. I don't feel like going down there. Not yet, anyway. What's TP looking like? What? <laughs> Why did why did we skip oh my goodness why did we skip TP All right well we going we going to come back when some stuff pop off cuz I'm going to have to stay in here for like 2 years Well things are going bad for alliance uh we spawned in with absolutely no tanks and as usual for whatever freaking reason alliance thought it would be a good idea to skip towers so all we got is one tower down, but of course we got back capped and everybody got wiped out down there. So, you know, the, the usual alliance tactic that failed. As you can see, already grabbed and burned two towers. But for whatever reason, the alliance just loves skipping these two towers now. It was never a thing before. It randomly became a thing. 
I, I don't know when it became a thing, but it, it's pretty annoying. You know what I love about AV? Spectral Visage. And Storm Pike Insignia, man. I can just get gone from any bad situation on any character and feel like I'm playing Rogue. <laughs> That's how I got all the way back there. We were in TP, but of course, like, two of us were in there. So we got overran by Horty, of course. And then... Oh, there is a Rogue up there. But he's probably, he probably gonna be dead by the time I get up there. So I, what did I do? Hit the Spectral Visage, and I dipped out. Shoot. I dipped out, son, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Now, we still have time to catch back up to Horty. But, shh, we better be fast. All our towers have less time. You know what I'm saying? Bum. Oh, am I still recording? Oh, what's up, y'all? <laughs> I'm still recording. I, did, I didn't even know. I hate when rogues sap, because if you're not going to beef. What? What you mean, nothing to attack? There was definitely something to attack. Busters? I don't know what I'm about to do. I don't even know what I'm about to do. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Crushing damage. Frost DK, baby! Wow. Hold up, where's the death knight? I can't see him with all that raid. Come here. Oh, I, oh shoot, I'm not ready yet. Get that man out of here. Whoa! Is the guards dead? They still alive? I'm trying to get close, but... Dang guards might be still alive. You don't guards hit hard, boy. Guards don't do no lightweight damage. No, sir. Frost Death Knight, man. Goodness, so strong. You know what I'm saying? You pop these two right here, and you're just doing abominable damage. You can't be stopped. Anybody in here? I will snatch a man up if I got to. No? We have the graveyard now? Not yet. Towers just went down though. We don't have a tank, man. People have been saying this like a million times. Are they over here fighting this dang dude? Fast! I'm so fast! I'm so fast! <laughs> that looks like the sad case of when you get pulled out of stealth for no dang reason. That's what that looked like. Because she was just chilling there. And just came out of stealth for no dang reason. Which something that's something Blizzard still hasn't fixed. Because that's been happening since... Uh, I would probably say Warlords of Draenor. Where you'll be standing there. And then suddenly you just get pulled out of stealth for absolutely no reason. And I, I see they still haven't fixed that. Because she was sitting right there. There was nobody around her. And she just came out of stealth. I, I know that wasn't on purpose. I know her pain. She probably like, what just happened? I, I know that pain. It only happened to me a few times. Still fighting this dude, man. We might lose this just because of that right there. Oh wait, we beefing? Oh shoot, we beefing. You know, people in here though, that's the problem. 
Back it up. Back it up. I see somebody didn't back it up. Oh, back. <laughs> the thing I love about the Frost Death Knight and the thing I've always loved about the Frost Death Knight is just the sheer crushing magical damage they do. They they pretty much their abilities pretty much eat through any form of armor. Because, oh, okay. Because oh shoot. Because um it's it's magical damage. Except for that. That's that's physical. That's frost. Obviously that's frost. Uh, I think this is physical. Yeah. I thought it was shadow damage at the time. Unless they changed it. Everything, almost every dang thing they do is frost damage, so it goes straight through armor. Armor doesn't help. Now I know this ain't like back in the day, where armor was the most important, especially like in a uh, vanilla TBC Wrath Lynch King, and maybe a little bit above. But for the most part, uh, armor still has a slight effect on uh, how much physical damage you dish out on somebody. With these frost abilities, man eat straight through that bull crap and still hit hard like you're doing regular melee hits or like you're a dang frost major basically but you got you got that close range ability i can't see uh how much health uh, they I, have they not fought him yet they must have not fought him yet They haven't fallen yet, that's good. That means my prediction was right. We're slightly ahead. We ain't, we ain't got no tank though. That's the only problem we got, is that's why he's just running around all over the damn place. But we still got we still might win this. Just in case I get attacked again. Raise the dead. Necro Lord is easily the best utility for the most of the characters. Only ones I don't use it on is my warriors, because the the Venthyr Execute is just too freaking good, and it allows me to play my my warriors the same way I've been playing them. <clears throat> Old school swing for the freaking fences and murder somebody. Well, no, that's Tsunami. Was up there too, but in the end, we came out. We came out on top. Simple as that. Clean, smooth. We didn't even have no tanks. We ain't had no tanks. We ain't have a. Mm, uh, mm, uh, hey, look at that. It's another iron bound. Uh, what we get? Nice. All right, it's been your boy Jade on Ledge on Nanny Me. You're tuned into Warcraft's best. I'm out of here. Well, I'm not quite out of here. What I'm actually about to do. Is another PvP battle. <laughs>